the Kodak Theater, the Walk of Fame, the El Capitan. These are just some of the more famous attractions in Hollywood. Everyone knows Hollywood, but no one knows more about the city and its secrets than William Gordon. Gordon, a former UCLA student from the 70s, wrote his book, The Ultimate Hollywood Tour Book, after moving to Los Angeles from his home state of Ohio. You come from Ohio uh, and you see the, the, uh, the mountains, the sea, the canyons, and, and the beautiful geography out here. Uh, it's really something special and you see things that you saw on television. Uh, and and uh, you come out here, you see a movie being filmed. It's, uh, uh, it really makes kind of an impression on you. Inside Gordon's book is a list of hot spots and other significant Los Angeles locations. I've got a little bit of everything. I've got celebrity homes, haunts, sites of scandals, murders, suicides, a lot of film locations, uh, movie locations all around greater Los Angeles. I mean, it's not just about Hollywood uh, per se, it's about movie land Los Angeles. Daily Brew and TV got a tour of some of the spots with connections to music, movies, and television. One musician in particular made this hotel, the Highland Gardens, famous. Well, this is the Highland Gardens, and it's, it was here in room 105 that Janis Joplin had her heroin overdose. She died in 1970. Many apparently normal-looking buildings actually have interesting histories. This apartment, an average building on the outside, was the film site for one popular television show. Okay, this is the El Cadiz Apartments, about two blocks west of Grauman's Chinese Theater. And as fans of the television series Alias might recall, this was the apartment building where Jennifer Gardner, playing Sidney Bristow, uh, lived with her roommate Francie. This is while she was still getting her uh, degree at UCLA. This Methodist church has had many celebrity sightings as well. This is the First United Methodist Church of Hollywood, one block north of uh, Hollywood Boulevard. And this is where they uh, filmed Sister Act and also, if you saw the Back to the Future movies, where they had the en uh, Enchantment Under the Sea dances. In modern times, the Renaissance Hotel has been used as a background for one recent movie. If any of you saw the movie Collateral starring Tom Cruise, this is where the second murder took place. Of course, one cannot mention Hollywood without Groman's Chinese Theater, embraced by tourists and celebrities alike. This is probably one of the most popular tourist sites in all of Los Angeles. Here we get a chance to stop into the Groundless Chinese Theater because it's really one of the uh, uh, most unique theaters, in, I think, in the country. Touring Hollywood should be fun. And that's the way Gordon sees his job in writing the book as well. Well, it was really uh, a fun project. I mean, I didn't take it as seriously as it turned out to be. It actually turned out to be a whole career. Now I just, uh, just hope it sells forever. For Daily Brew and Television, I'm Stephanie Tran.